Recently, the Raider Opus update 3.3.16 has been released and most users have installed it by now. Some users have found that the main language of the repertory of Synthesis 2009 or the Synthesis Adonis has switched. So if that happened, so for example here I have the English menu bar and I see I have the German language. So if you want to change the language of your repertory again, you go on the world icon and you select here show this document in, I select here for example English. And for example, if you like that, you can say uh, show an additional language. And for example here, I do here French. Okay, now I have English and French. If you want to know more about how to work with uh, two languages and how you can search in both the first and the second language, uh, see the separate video about that. So let me switch off here the second language. Another thing which you can change in version 3.3.16 is the color of the program. So the color of the icons. Uh, this is also called the skin. On uh, Windows, you can find this via Tools and then General Options. But as this is a Mac, um, in most languages, this is then located in the Radar Opus menu, Preferences. Then there, you can select here in the main tab of Main Options, you can select here the Program Skin or Color. So I select here, for example, a classic, or uh, here's the default, or here is forest or mountain. Oh God, mountain I don't like so much. But uh, let's do here classic. And then when I restart the software, uh, you will see that the icons will have become a different color. Let me do that quickly. I will restart the software. And you see now that the color of the icons has been changed. So another option is here that you can set certain titles as your favorite. So here I have selected the Schoen Synthesis Adonis uh, with a star, uh, which is my favorite and I have selected that it shows at the top. The same you can do for references. Now how to do that? You can see the separate video about that. What also has been improved in 3.3.16 is the quick reference. So anywhere in the software where you double click on a remedy, it opens the quick reference title. And here is a list of the titles which I have selected as my quick references and how to do that you can see also in a separate video. But I will show you how I use it uh, most frequently. So if I have uh, an analysis, so let me just take a few symptoms. Here's my analysis and I want to quickly uh, differentiate for example arsenicum and calcium and carbovegetables. I double click on Arsenicum and it opens here my quick reference. I keep this tab open. I go again to the analysis. I double click here on Calcarea and I have here Calcarea Carbonica. And you see here with this triangle that I have now two remedies open. If I go back to the analysis and for example here Ammonium Muriaticum, I double click on it. It opens also this one. Let me do another one. So here, Aurum, I double click. And now here via the triangle, I can quickly switch between these remedies. So how to set this, uh, you can also look in the separate video. So let me close all these again. Okay, what else to show you about 3.3.16? Uh, there are also users who do not save any patient information in the software itself. And they can now switch off the password protection. You can do that here via tools. 
user accounts and then you can disable password protection. Uh, disable timeout means that I think if you are not working longer than one hour or two or three hours, I'm not sure, uh, with the software, it will pop up uh, that you need to enter the password again. And disable password renewal means that uh, each three months you're obliged to change the password. But if you have patient information in the software, it's legally required that you keep all these options on. But you see here, this option, you can change your password. So let me close this. So what else can I show you? Yeah, for example, um, if I go here in the synthesis Adonis to a smaller repertory view, so I select here, for example, Venice Dartan, then you see here, for example, in this rubric abrupt, that there are still highlighted uh, remedies, but these are so-called family remedies. If you hold your mouse over it, then a window pops up with all the remedies belonging to that family. If you do not want to see these family remedies, then you go here to the local options, you select the top remedies and authors, and you select here, uh, don't display, do not display families. And I close the local options again, and now they are gone. Um, if you use a smaller view, I advise you to keep these two icons selected. So these two buttons should be on. So what does it mean? Let me put here this rubric abrupt here more at the top. Okay. So I have here abrupt and you see there are 30 remedies in this rubric. One remedy has a strike through. It means it was an addition in a previous version, but it has been corrected. So it is, uh, it is an error. Uh, so there are 30 remedies and uh, 58 remedies are excluded in this view. If I select here the full repertory, you will see that there are now 88 remedies and there are no remedies excluded from this view. So let me go back again to this smaller view. There are also sometimes uh, rubrics which do not have any remedies anymore. Um, let me scroll here to find one. Yeah, so here, evening. You see evening. Uh, does not have any remedies in it anymore, but there are three remedies which are excluded in this view. Now, if you have this icon off, uh, it means that those uh, rubrics which do not have any remedy left anymore in a view are hidden. So if I click it off, that rubric evening is gone. So I prefer to have both icons on. This one, uh, if it's on, shows still all the rubrics, even if it is completely uh, excluded from that view. So if there are no remedies left anymore in that view, and this icon shows at the end of the remedy list, those rubrics which uh, are excluded. So if I switch this one off, you see here there's number seven disappears. If I switch this one on again, you see here that this uh, number seven and the excluded remedies appear again. I think this was it. There's one thing I would like to uh, bring your attention to, and that is via help. There's a radar opus manual, and if you click on it, you must be connected to internet. There is a large radar opus manual. And at the start are also some getting started or introduction uh, videos. So if you click on these links, the videos will start. And also on the website uh, www.opus.com are introduction and adva advanced courses. That was it. Thank you for your attention.